the becoming safely embodied a big turning point for me because I was right at the point where some very sort of unconscious stuff was coming up and I didn't know what it was at the same time as some outer life events that had uh, triggered it but also it wasn't just that they triggered it but they the door was left open so it was very difficult for me to integrate um, so coming up to see you in Derby and uh, feeling this even though I did feel very unsafe and I was felt really lonely in my hotel room and you know all that kind of stuff I actually um, within the workshop I felt the safety I felt connected to you and I felt the safety of that and that just tipped the balance for me to start to integrate things that didn't really have an intellectual component they didn't have uh, words it was feelings and it was sensations um, but I was able to clarify and see them as separate so rather than it being a soup that I didn't I didn't know what it was and so it would eventually be covered over it kind of clarified more and it didn't get covered over so I was then able to continue to work with it more and I know as a as a Zen teacher what was different then in your healing from practicing Zen to this place of integration and putting things together in a new way well uh, with Zen it's fantastic because your the main practice is meditation um, whether that's moving sitting or lying down or whatever it is so that's focused it's also receiving but there tends to be it tends to be the emphasis is on the stream of experience and you are either the observer or you know not not like the cold observer but you're you're present with it and so that works to an extent and then and then there's other when some of the deeper stuff comes up there is a kind of hierarchical process or you know succession of people that you can maybe go to for support um, but that doesn't always work because if it's only in the Zen framework then you get redirected to a Zen, another Zen practice so you can end up going round round in circles a little bit so I just need that extra component to stay with this particular thing and I needed a specific kind of support which I didn't know what it was. We, we don't know what it is. So it's almost like grace comes along and goes, okay, just use your intuition here. What, you know, feel your way along here. Where, where can you, where can you, where are you going to get met with this particular thing? And then luckily that's what happened. I got, it was a compassionate mind foundation. I think it was, wasn't it? That, um, yeah and sort of saw that and it was yeah and, and like that and and, and i i yeah, and so that, and what what do you think helps you or helps us as people to open to that kind of grace so we can trust the intuition you have to decide to wow you you have to i mean i've i've always trusted my intuition even when people have told me not to um so that um that's something that's quite easy for me and I, I have had people say, well, I don't trust myself at all. And I don't trust my intuition. And I, you know, it's, I, how do you do that? And I've never been able to say, well, I don't know how you do it. So the only thing I can say is listen to that voice and go with it, see what happens. But you've got to decide to listen to it because it's easy to just keep dismissing it, isn't it? Are you saying that if we don't know, we ask for it and we get some kind of response from the world inside or outside and then just check it out see does, does this move you forward does that resonate yes yeah and it is inside and outside um that's quite it's almost quite magical mm. um, because it's something inside and then it it starts to form outside as well uh, which is why it, that kind of moves into the more almost shamanic realms where your your intention and you're dreaming something forward so you're creating something forward and you're not just being present with what is you're actually is the other component is you know working more with intention working more with wanting to connect with your true life's passion 
and that kind of energy and it all becomes a little bit more magical so it's really and how to find that listen to those voices maybe discern because there's going to be lots of different voices in there and uh, lots of different parts are going to perhaps want their say so you're going to have to work with all of that as well so that's why it's all a lifelong yeah. thank you journey that's isn't lovely. it it's a lifelong path to find these these different ways that really um help us to to trust ourselves mm. yeah. oh beautiful thank you Dinah.